Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We are doing a uh, different kind of video today. We have uh, two packages today from my good buddy Tommy and Chris over in Top Shelf uh, Sports Cards. Uh, I, I know him as uh, Top Shelf Breaks on Twitter uh, right there in Elgin, Illinois. Uh, really good company if you guys are into baseball, basketball, football, even wrestling, uh, card breaks. Um, that's where I first met Chris back in the day, trying to help him uh, be able to move some product, get some people knowing what he was going to be doing. Um, and uh, I normally only buy two kinds of cards a year. I like to get the Bowman Mega Box uh, from Target. Uh, you kind of open the cards, you take a peek, you look around, put them in a box, look at them in five years and see if any of those guys matured um, into big time ball players. And then I like Topps Update. Honestly, kind of like the same thing. Uh, last year, I, I pulled uh, Jimenez, um, and I traded that. And most people will say that I got that short end of the stick. Um, it was an autographed, uh, green, parallel, numbered. I traded it uh, for a house to stay in um, when I went to Chicago, and a Bullet Club uh, Chicago uh, shirt from uh, Pro Wrestling Tees when we went to the store. So... I think we lucked out. I mean, honestly, I, I paid 20 bucks for that box at Target, and I got a house. I got drove around everywhere. Um, I'm sure that I ate some food at Mike's house, and, uh, uh, you know, got a, got a T-shirt that I always remember going to Chicago for. So I reached out uh, to Tommy and Chris, who work at the shop, and I basically said, hey, I can't find these Bowens anywhere, um, and, and I, I want to buy some cards. Um, and I said, if we look around, see if you can find me like a package of just... 49ers, Braves, and Kings, uh, my three favorite teams, and um, we worked out a deal. They sent me these two mystery bags, so we're going to pop these bad boys open and um, basically see what we got. We got tons of cards in here, guys. Tons, tons of cards. We're packed to the gills. Tommy honestly said they had a lot of fun uh, making, these, uh, making these looking through the cards that they had there in the shop. I looked through a, a lot of the cards when I was there, and that's basically um, what I was buying. Oh, I also told them I like uh, the, the Team USA Baseball guys. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are you know, and, and what you do with them, but uh, here's what he pulled out right here. So we're going to start out right here with an autographed numbered card of Carl Landry, numbered 52 of 75. This comes out of a Panini. A pretty cool looking case. Probably the case is worth more than the card, honestly, inside the truth. Uh, then we're going to flip over to Luke Jackson, Promising Pros Materials, right there. Um, this is uh, from Panini. Panini, to me, honestly, the only knock on them is that, like, you don't get the logos. And sometimes they can get a really good picture where it doesn't really look like they had to Photoshop it out. But come on, guys, get that um, get that going with the uh, MLB license. This one right here, uh, Tuki Toussaint. Uh, this one right here is a whole bunch of shit. It looks like a jersey. It looks like it's probably from a patch. I'm not sure what the black is from, but you got tons in there, and it's uh, numbered to 5 of 25. Damn good card. Uh, we got George Hill. Thanks, Tommy, for this guy's the biggest bum to ever come to Sacramento. And that's, that's saying a lot. <laughs> um, then we got uh, Joe Williams, uh, running back, rookie premier. Uh, we've got part of the football. Um, we've got some, some red and some black. Right there. Oh, I guess that's a different pile. Because I got it. baseball, basketball, and this. Oh, Freddie Freeman, game use memorabilia. This is uh, from the 2020 35th anniversary. Tops. I love the back. I've honestly had one McGuire rookie uh, in my lifetime. I don't have it anymore, but uh, that's like the only card from back in the day that I really miss. I never had an 89 Griffey uh, upper deck either. Uh, another Tuki Toussaint. This one's from Panini as well. A lot of art in that card. Pretty cool how they put the art in the background and left the, uh, the picture. It kind of looks like it's drawn in pencil, honestly, to say the truth. Uh, we got Bryce Wilson, uh, Bryce Wilson, number 95 of 99, uh, tops, pretty clear, you can see through the card. Uh, we've got um, Quentin Patton, right here, 25 of 49, it's an eBay 101 right there from uh, Panini, I thought it said Premier, but it's Playbook. 
Oh, shoot, I'm messing up my own piles, dumbass. Uh, we got Dez Anderson. All these wide receivers at the Niners draft. 43 out of 50. Is that a tops? None of them fucking work out. Um, we got Shay Langlier's autographed prism. USA card. De'Aaron Fox, press proof. Um, this is the number to 49. I got some red on me. Right there. Guys, a stud. You have to let them loose. Hopefully, these last eight games of the season are going to be really, really big for you. Uh, Jalen Heward didn't get to play a lot last year. Hopefully, this is going to be a breakout year for him. Um, if not, I even I read a story about them trading him to the Texans. And I don't know why you would trade for a guy that didn't play for the Texans last year either, but a guy that's kind of in the same spot. Kendall Hunter. Dude was a stud. I liked him when he was here. Uh, another Kendall Hunter, top's finest. Uh, we've got Greg Maddox, National Treasures Hall of Fame materials, class of 2014. Stud right there, dude. I'll honestly say that, honestly, Glavin was probably my favorite pitcher on uh, the Braves. If we had to go to a game seven, if we had a big game, I always liked it when Smack... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was liked it when Smoltz was on the mound. But, I mean, like, just Maddox, you knew this guy was going to win 9 out of the 10 games he pitched. It just, I don't, know, I don't know. His games were just kind of boring to watch. I apologize. But I do love stories. I love hearing stories about Greg Maddox now more than when he was with the Braves. He used to hurt. He was, like, one of the worst spring training pitchers of all time because he was bored. And he honestly, to make somebody look foolish later on down the road, one of my favorite stories is he would let like big name studs just crush home runs off of him. So the next time you would face him, like in a regular season game, you would kind of think like, oh, Greg's lost a step. He doesn't have it. This is the year he's finally done. And you just fucking blow him away. Uh, Joseph Charles, USA card. Mar this guy looks like a stud. I'm looking this guy up. I know so many times these guys never really turn out to be much, but uh, Mark Matthews. Tim Kate. These look like uh, just random cards from Bowman this year. From Braves. Grant Koch. That's a star right there. That's a stud. Look at that guy. Smashing 30 home runs no matter where he goes. Uh, Nick Bosa, stellar rookies, rookies and stars. Oh, yeah, Niners. Then we got Marcus Lattimore. I fucking love this dude. This guy is a stud and a half right here. This is from Spectra Panini. It's a damn good looking card right there. Piece of the jersey right there, number 94 out of 99. I can remember, honestly, when I was, like, getting out of cards, probably, like, when was, like, the first jersey card I remember? 99, 2000? I remember the first one I remember, it was a Jordan got him, and it was really, really special. I think they even made a Jordan suit card when he, like, retired. Somehow, I guess they got that suit, and they cut it up. My, my memory is right. And, um... Then they just started making them because so many people wanted to have them and there was not nothing and it just turned into they were just making the cards for just about almost anybody. And um, now there's, I guess there's no value because there's no people really looking for them. Oh, look at this. I actually got packs. Whoa. Suddenly, I wasn't thinking about this. I honestly was thinking that this was going to be... Like, one, like, mega card. Like, they, like, put it over the top or something like that. So, we got 2020 Leaf Draft Football. And this looks like old-timey wax right here. Like, watch this be like... No, I recognize it from the back. It's not 91 Fleer. I think it is Fleer, though. It's basketball. And it's 89 basketball. Fleer cards right there. Is that the ones with, like, the blue borders? JD Sports Cards, Jammin, <laughs> 2012. 
Oh, we got a bunch of these. Oh, that's what I know about right there. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's like a refractor sticker. Oh. Autographed. Boom. All right, we're going to go 2020 Leaf Football. Full pack. The hell is that? Cole Kment, Jerry Judy, Isaiah Simmons, DeAndre Swift, University of Georgia. I'm not the biggest like G UGA football fan. I like to say that I like the Bulls, but I think that the guys that come out of Georgia every year are studs. So right here, best card of the pack. Jerry Judy, touchdown Kings. Yeah, these cards feel really like how do I put this over? It's like, um, like victory with deal. Like that's like really cheap upper deck card that they make like for kids, I guess you could say. Oh, wow. Right off the bat. Oh, these aren't the cards I thought they were. I recognize them now. But that's not what I thought they were going to look like. So we have an 89 All-Star, Ewing and Jackson from the New York Knicks. I remember these guys are like nothing, man. Like I don't know. I don't know who plays guard for the Celtics anymore, but I remember watching Nick, uh, uh, Dennis Johnson. Nate McMillan he went on to coach the Sonics. Isn't he the coach of the Pacers? No, I don't think he has that job anymore. Dave Corzine traded to the Magic from the Bulls. We got Greg Anderson traded to the Bucks. Everybody knows this guy from the Jordan documentary, Craig Elo. Sam Perkins. This guy's a Hall of Famer. I know he's got. Does he have three rings? Two from the Pistons as a player, one as a GM. Joe Dumars. I don't think he was ever on one of the USA Dream Teams. No, he wasn't on one, two, or three, so he's not there. Look at this guy. Oh, damn. We got magic right here. Mitch Richmond rookie card. Arguably the best Sacramento King there's ever been. The only one that's going to come close would be Chris Weber. Um, Weber took us to the playoffs. Mitch Richmond took us to the playoffs one time. But the Mitch Richmond trade turned into Chris Webber when we traded him to the Wizards. And Richmond, even though he had one good year with the Wizards scoring a whole bunch of points, we really lucked out on that deal because I think he, Richmond played for the Wizards that one year, him and Rod Strickland, the highest scoring backcourt of all time, I think you can say. Um, and then um, he went on to the Lakers where he won the championship the next year. That's like a PSA 10 Richmond rookie right there. Can't go wrong. Ricky Pierce, Otis Thorpe, he was in Sacramento. Oh, looking at the home card. He was a king, right? Yeah, he played one, two, three years. Oh, and then he was in Kansas City. So he was like almost a lifer before he went there. I remember him on those uh, championship uh, rocket teams. Stockton, dream team. Oh, that's a cool card. Johnny Dawkins. Charles Barkley. And Akeem. I always remember him spelling his name with an H. I don't know how that came about, but we got the 89 stickers. Akeem Elijah one. PSA 10 Richmond rookie. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Tons of cards. Thank you to Chris. Thank you to Tommy. Uh, my buddies over at uh, Top Shelf Breaks TSB. Michael Elgin, Illinois. I remember that when um, I was telling Mike to go to the card store, I didn't really know where it was compared to where he lived. And then it ended up being like, being like 20 minutes away, and then Tommy got a job there. 
Honestly, I thought it was pretty cool.